When you're in a parking lot and you see a parking space that you want to park in, no one has to tell you what arc to take. You just look at the space and without even thinking about it, you just put the car there. It's the same situation when you're approaching a pointer cone. Just visualize a parking space that's where you want the car to be. Then you don't even have to think about your approach. You just do it instinctively without even thinking about it. You just look at the parking space and you just think, I'm gonna put the car right there. And you won't even think about it. You'll just do it. So same thing when you're doing a slalom, but you're just chaining them together. You got this parking space is pointing to where you wanna go for the next one. And then when you actually get out on course, you just do it without even thinking about it. And you end up backsiding all the cones exactly like you should. Just remember, when you're doing your course walk, cars in your imagination don't necessarily have to follow the rules of physics. Somebody might think to themselves, well, I'm going to stay on the throttle and I'm going to brake when I get here. And this is where my turn in point is going to be. And then they end up blowing the corner when they get out there because their imaginary car isn't bounded by things like grip, you know. But if you get out there and you're, all you're visualizing is simply where you want to be, then it's, it's not up to your assumptions. You just don't even think. You just execute.